Well, the Book of Mormon is coming to the Lima Civic Center on Tuesday, May 14th. And joining us today, one of the actors in that show. He plays several roles, keeping very busy, Trevor Dorner. So thanks for joining us, Trevor. Hey, Holly. Thanks for having me on. Okay, so what's it like? You are from Ohio. You actually went to Ohio Northern University. What's it like being in a professional show and touring the country? Oh my gosh, it is absolutely amazing. Um, you know, this is this is what I majored in in uh, at Ohio Northern was musical theater. So this was always what I wanted to do. But it is uh, super cool to you know be out here actually doing it and be on one of you know one of the the hugest Broadway shows of all time. The Book of Mormon is uh, such a gigantic and recognizable show. It is such uh, it is such like an honor to be on this project. Yeah, it, it is a huge show, and in case someone doesn't really know too much about it, kind of give us a little capsule of what the show's like. Sure, yeah, yeah. So without without spoiling too much of the plot of the show, um, pretty much the show follows two uh, Mormon missionaries who have just completed their missionary training. And um, if you're unfamiliar with uh, the Mormon faith, uh, when they turn 19, typically they go on a mission for two years and spread uh, the Mormon religion. So we are following two specific Mormon missionaries on their mission and they get sent somewhere um, very, very far from home and very, very different from anywhere they've ever seen or anywhere they've expected. And they meet all these new people and they have to sort of they have a sort of a coming of age story and they have to figure out how they're going to reach these people that are so different than them and how they can reach them and help them to grow and build their community. There's some great songs on this show. I mean, you must have a lot of fun. Oh, absolutely. The songs are amazing. They're all so fun. The show is absolutely hilarious. So we get to make people laugh for two and a half hours every night. It is uh, it is such an amazing time on stage. Yeah, I think you mentioned the show is hilarious. There are so many jokes and zingers here that you have to really pay attention sometimes because you're going to miss some of them. Oh, absolutely. There is. Uh, we've had people that have come back to see the show several times and they're still like, I caught things I've never caught before and I've seen the show Five times I've seen it on Broadway. I've seen it, you know, when when the tour came in 2000, whatever. Uh, and they, there are still new things that people are seeing because there's just so many details and so many like little funny bits throughout the entire show. Definitely is. All right. So as I mentioned earlier, you're coming to Lima, and since you were at Ohio Northern, you're familiar with the Civic Center, right? Absolutely, yes. I performed in the uh, O and the U Holiday Spectacular for four years at the Lima Civic Center. Uh, for those that are fans of the show, I was in the I'll Be Home for Christmas trio. Oh. But um, <laughs> I'm very, very familiar with uh, the Lima Civic Center and very excited to come back and get to perform there again and to be back so close to my uh, university and so close to where I grew up, really. Yeah, it was a Toledo area, right? So you can have family come down yep. to see you in Lima? Yep, my parents are coming down. I think I have some aunts and uncles coming. Uh, it's going to be a really fun time for that one nighter. A really great homecoming for you. That's awesome. All right, yeah. so you're hitting the road again after you leave Lima. So what's it like living out of a suitcase, so to speak? Um, it's it's interesting. It definitely has its challenges. Tour life is uh, it's its own it's its whole own thing. Um, you, you know, I my entire life is in two suitcases. I live in hotels for nine or 10 months out of the year. Um, but at the same time, with how challenging it is and how much that is, we still, uh, it's so worth it because we get to bring this show all around the country to so many cities and communities that maybe don't have access to like get to New York to see the Broadway production. And we get to just uh, get to bring it to so many places and people that have never seen the show that that's so exciting for us. Okay, what would you tell someone who's kind of on the fence, not sure they want to go to the show on Tuesday? What would you tell them? Oh, I would tell them to check it out. If they have any interest in seeing the show, if, it's, if, it's, if it at all strikes you as something you may find funny or entertaining, maybe you like South Park. This is, it's written by the, the guys who wrote South Park, so if that's the vein of humor that you like or if that's something you're interested in. If you have any interest at all, just come see the show because it, it truly is a one-of-a-kind experience. I, I, I'm struggling even to describe it myself after being in it for 500 shows. Um, it, just come check it out and judge it for yourself and see if it's something you like. Exactly. Well, Trevor, thank you very much for joining us. Hopefully you have a good time when you're back here in Lima. Yeah, looking forward to it. Thanks for having me. All right, don't go away. First edition continues in a moment.